Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brent and today we have a Toyota Camry wagon that we pulled out of a garage for you after sitting for the last 20 plus years. And from what I've been told, the wagon version of the Camry is pretty obscure. For this car, we had to drive about 30 minutes to go get it. And now we can show you guys the new trailer and winch that we just got. And we're super excited about it because that means we could pick up more barn finds and bring them back to our shop for videos because if you guys didn't know, about 99% of these barn finds that we do don't run. And if you guys live near Cleveland, Ohio and you have a car that would be a good candidate for a video on our channel, don't hesitate to reach out to us either by email or on our Instagram because we do these details absolutely for free so we would love to do your car. But with that being said, I want to hop into the question of the video. Over here at WD, as you may have been able to tell in our recent videos, we brought a new videographer onto our team named Brad. Now Brad is absolutely in love with this car and Mike and RJ also really like it but personally I've never been a fan of any hatchback cars or wagons. Besides maybe the Audi RS6 Avant, other than that they're just not my style. But how do you guys feel about this Camry wagon? Do you like it? Do you hate it? How do you feel? Leave your answers in the comments below. And lastly, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that right now because we have a video in the works on a barn find American muscle car that's never been featured on this channel. And that video will even have some paintwork in it and some other really cool stuff. So you definitely don't want to miss that. Now starting with the detail, the first thing we did was the exterior beginning with the wheels. And when RJ got to the hubcaps trying to take them off, he had a tough time because they were just really stuck on there. And I'm gonna let you guys listen real time to what he was saying because I thought it was hilarious and I think you guys might enjoy it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's a no for me, dog. I'm not gonna crack these in half, trying to get a cap off. And at this point, we were going to do the engine bay and also a couple other things. And as soon as we popped the hood, we found a nice little surprise. And if you guys have any clue what animal might have left this surprise behind, leave a comment down below. Bro, I'm not lying. These are like horse turns or something. Um, <clears throat> anyways, we were about to wash the car and I was like, man, this thing is in really good shape, aside from all the dust and dirt and grime, uh, except for this big dent in the hood. And I thought, maybe, if we give it a little love tap. WD paintless net repair.
So for the engine bay, there's a lot of misconceptions that using water is super bad for them, and that's false. Most engine bays, it's pretty safe to use a pressure washer as long as it's not super high pressure and you're not just forcing the water into seals or into electrical components, you should be fine. But what we did first was use our leaf blower to get any extra leaves, dust, anything we could get out of there that we didn't have to use the water to push it out. We got it out of there first, and then we gave it a pre-rinse followed by our degreaser, which you don't wanna let it sit for a long time because it can damage plastics. So you spray your degreaser on, you get your brushes and clean everything as quickly as you can, and then you spray it all off. And then afterwards, we use our leaf blower again to dry everything because you don't wanna leave too much water sitting inside the engine bay afterwards.
Now after the wash, we were ready to use our clay bars and get the rest of the dirt off the paint that wasn't coming off during the wash process. And even then, there was still dirt that was being stubborn, so we pulled out our last resort that we don't tend to use unless it's absolutely necessary, but it's really cool to watch and kind of satisfying, not gonna lie. But we have a clay bar pad that goes on a buffer and it really does a great job of getting the rest of that stuff out of the paint. Taking a quick look over the interior, we had a serious mold problem pretty much all over the car, which was kind of expected because this car has been sitting for so long. But the first thing that we did was start disassembling it, and this was actually one of the easiest cars to disassemble that we've ever worked on. The seat bolts came out really easily and we didn't have any kind of trouble with them and it was honestly a godsend. But really quickly, if you're enjoying the video, please take a second and hit the like button because that helps us out a lot and it shows us that you guys are enjoying the content. So after vacuuming out the trunk, as soon as RJ opened up this little compartment, I swear to you guys, I have never smelled a stronger smell of rat urine in a car from any other car we've ever worked on. This was the most disgusting smell to ever come out of a vehicle. If anyone's counting how many floor mats and carpets are inside this car, leave a comment down below if you know.
So as we make these videos, we want to make them as satisfying as we can for you guys. And with our all-purpose cleaner, we found a way to make it a little bit more foamy on the doors and the plastics. And with that being said, if there's anything else you guys think we could be doing in our videos to make them a little bit more satisfying for you, leave them in the comments below.
Moving on to the floor mats, they're actually a lot of fun to do since we have these clips in our wall because you can really see all the dirt against that white wall pouring out of them. But we use the pressure washer to give them a really good rinse down followed by the carpet extractor soap and a drill brush and then we pressure wash it again. And finally moving on to the carpets, I only filmed a couple spots because the other side of the car wasn't as bad as this side of the car. But wait till you guys see what came pouring out of the extractor. It was disgusting. Ew. Comment below what this water looks like to you. 